In this video, we're going to run by the button background color, which we don't have here, but down here. If you look at the final result, you'll see that this button needs a background color. And what we'll do is we'll get the background color on, and we'll get that little arrow in there. I'll start by, I would like to assume that this background color is the same as that. And I can see, actually, that it's not quite the same, but just for unity, the purposes of unity of the website, I'm going to bring the same color down here. So if I look at my index.html, ah, right here, I do have a class called button. So I'll just give the button a background color that matches uh, this right here, the nav bar. And so it's a class and it's text. So I'll put it up here in the text. I'll go above the footer since the button is above the footer. Dot button, that's how classes are denoted. And background color. Uh, let's see. Copy. Paste. Save, and let's take a peek at what we have now. There it is. Let's see if we can get the little arrow on the right side of that button. Let's take a peek at it. Looks like this little arrow on the right side of the button. And I guess I'm going to have to make a decision on where I would put that image. So I can look at my styles. And I know that that image is a link that you'd click. So the question is, would I put it on the A tag or would I put it on this tag? And my inclination is to be as specific as I can. If I put it up here on the A tag, then it will appear on all the links up there. So I'll stay specific. And I'm going to make a purposeful mistake here just so that you can watch the mistake and learn from it. And then I'll repair it. Background image, URL, and I'm going to have to get out of my CSS folder and into my images folder. And I'm going for the arrow. So I'm going to save and refresh, and it should be good, right? Refresh. Oof, no, it's not. Well, first of all, I see three of them, so I know that I could uh, use my background rule and tell it not to repeat. So to use the general background rule, I'll take that off, keep the URL there, skip a space and say no repeat. And then I'll give it a location, which would be, I think, right, right, it's on the right side, and centered. Let's save that and see if it's fixed. Ugh, now my background color has disappeared. What's going on? I'll tell you. Here, uh, when you give a background color rule, um, your browser knows to pay attention to that but overriding it is the rule underneath it. Now, when the browser sees a general background rule, it automatically assumes a color of transparent. So that's overriding this background color. So easy. Cut and paste. Save and refresh. And there it is. Now I just need a little bit of padding, and I would put that on the right side. So let's go back and take care of the padding right. And how much padding do we need? Let's take a look at that arrow. It is 35 pixels wide. So let's give it, that, that looks like it includes a little glow around the edges too. So let's give it 35. Looking good.